Hi everyone, Chris from Stone Age Gamer here. Let's talk about the TurboGrafx-16. It's a console that's loved by many, and is notoriously difficult to collect for. Well, if you're a fan of the platform and you're looking for the ultimate accessory, the fine folks at Terra Onion have you covered with the Super SD System 3. Look at this bad boy, huh? This is effectively a flash card for the TurboGrafx-16, but it does so much more than just play Hue card games. Let's take a look. All right, everybody, here is the Super SD System 3 in all of its glory. Now let's talk a little bit about what this guy actually is, because uh, the name Super SD System 3 isn't super descriptive as far as uh, what it does in terms of this, the uh, TurboGrafx-16. So what this does is it plays CD-ROM 2, Super CD-ROM 2, Arcade CD-ROM 2, and Hue card images from an SD card. Basically, this is the be-all and all flash card for TurboGrafx-16, and it'll play pretty much any TurboGrafx-related game right on your console. It's also got an AV multi-out with RGB, composite video, and stereo audio. Now, on the original TurboGrafx-16, which is this gentleman right here, uh, it didn't have native uh, AV out. It just came with this uh, RF unit over here on the side, which is, uh, well, it was a sign of the times. But this guy right here can help you out with that, get you all hooked up fine and digitally to your television. So uh, here's uh, the rest of the box if you want to get a nice closer look at that. And let's see what's inside. Let's pull this thing open here. What do we got in here? What manner of goodies are inside the box? Why am I so bad at boxes? Oh my goodness, it's a Stone Age Gamer sticker! What? Yes, I know, it's totally awesome. Here. Also from Stone Age Gamer, we have this little uh, piece of paper here. Warning! Check console pins to make sure they are not bent. Inserting into a console with a bent pin will cause further bending. Insert slowly. Clean pins, if dirty, to avoid connection problems. We're going to go over that in a bit, minute when we actually uh, attach this thing. But uh, here is the instruction manual to show you how to do all the super fun things that you can do with your uh, Super SD System 3. And of course, here is the unit itself. This is it. Uh, it's, a, it's a pretty nice looking hunk of plastic right here, huh? I mean, you've got the uh, kind of clear look to it. It's very sleek. It's a little uh, little chunker right there. You got these, uh, this is where all the pins go, and that is a lot of pins. And uh, so let's go ahead and attach this and see how this actually connects. So move this stuff out of the way and get our TurboGrafx-16 back over here. So here is a standard issue TurboGrafx-16. This is my unit. And uh, you're going to take this guy off the back here, so it exposes this business right here. Now this is where your AC adapter plugs in, which is uh, accessible through this thing. I love this design. I mean, let's just talk about how crazy this is. You've got this little slot here so you can run your AC cable in through this big old chunk of ridiculousness. Anyways, uh, so here is your T-shaped TurboGrafx-16, and this is where your Super SD System 3 goes on. Now again, you want to be careful with this because if you look inside of this, those are all your pins. You don't want to bend these things. You don't want to go sticking your fingers in there and rubbing it around or anything. And you want to connect this pretty, pretty solidly. The good news is, is that this thing goes on tight, which is a good thing. You don't want it to wiggle around because you want it to match up with all the little pins and whatnot. And you just kind of slide it on like so, as straight as you can. You're going to have to apply a little bit of force and there you have it. It is connected to a TurboGrafx-16, just like so. Isn't that pretty? I mean, it's pretty long, but these types of things are to be expected. So you're probably wondering, well, what if I don't have a TurboGrafx-16? What if I have something else? What if I have a Turbo Duo? Can this thing work on my Turbo Duo? Well, unfortunately, no, it does not work on your Turbo Duo because there's nowhere to plug it in. This is a, a very different animal. So even though this does play the Turbo CD uh, games, it does not work with an actual Turbo Duo, nor does it work with the Turbo Express for obvious reasons. There's just nowhere to put it. So now that we've gone over what this thing doesn't do, let's talk a little bit more about what it does. Let's head over to the TV. Now, before we go any further, we're going to have to do a very, very important step, which is install the SD card, the micro SD card. I mean, seriously, no wonder these things are called micro. They're teeny tiny. So uh, this has been loaded with the current firmware from Terra Onion. 
and it is also loaded with the two free games that you get when you purchase a Super SD System 3 from StoneAgeGamer.com. Eh? And uh, the slot is right here. So this is going to press in with that extraordinarily satisfying Nintendo DS style click, you know, and it goes, oh yeah, I love that. That's such a cool thing. Uh, and now we're just going to plug these bits in here. So here is the AC adapter, which is going to go right in the side. Unlike the original one, there's no giant piece of plastic to, to, to go through and pass through and then we're going to connect our AV cables here because I'm just using standard AV cables for this setup and in it goes just like that on my shelf and of course we need a controller uh, that just plugs in right in the front same way as usual nothing special here uh, but I am just going to point out that I'm using a Hyperkin controller to do this because the original TurboGrafx-16 controller is hilariously short on cable and well, this one reaches my couch. All right, let's turn this sucker on and see what it does. Here's our gray screen, followed by the super snazzy Super SD System 3 title screen, and now we have our main menu. This is where we're gonna do all of our file searching, but of course, I don't have too many files on here because I just have the two officially licensed games that you get for free when you purchase a Super SD System 3 from StoneAgeGamer.com. We have Impossible and Jim Power in Mutant Planet over in the CD-ROM section. So you can see up top, you've got Hue cards, you've got CD-ROM. So it separates what kind of games you have loaded on here. Now, obviously, you're probably thinking to yourself, well, what if I really don't want to play Impossible and Jim Power in Mutant Planet? What if I want to play some of my other legally obtained ROMs and ISO files? Well, you can. This supports anything that is TurboGrafx flavored. So if it's a PC Engine game, uh, region, whatever it is, if it's a legally obtained ROM that you have, you can play it on this system here. So you can see down in the bottom, uh, you've uh, got this little uh, image in the corner there. If you uh, load your files, uh, you can attach artwork and stuff to them, which uh, will show up down in the bottom right hand corner there, which is pretty snazzy. Uh, then you've got all your options, your, your controls down there on the bottom, kind of reflecting the controller that you're holding in your hand. So we're going to take a quick look at the options here. You can click on whatever game you're looking at, and uh, you've got a whole menu full of different things you can futz with. That is all detailed in the instruction manual that comes with your Super SD System 3. So let's take a look at what a Hue card game looks like on Super SD System 3. Here comes Impossible! Look how fast that is. That is impossibly fast, huh? Thank you, Gremlin. All right, so here we go. We're just gonna fire up a new game here. We're gonna go to, uh, can I go to different places? I don't know. Oh yeah, let's go to the Amazon jungle. I like that. That looks uh, terrifying. Here we are. And impossible. And the, look at that lightning effect. It's so cool. And I am a mole with a cape, and I just got stabbed in the butt, because I'm not very good at this game. Ow! Alright, what's up, Chameleon? Oh, no, everything wants to beat me up! This is impossible! Alright, now that that's done, let's go try out our uh, CD-ROM games. We're going to boot up Jim Power Mutant Planet. And this I love, because CD-ROM games have a very specific sound to them, you know? Obviously, everything now whether it's on a cartridge, an SD card, or just streaming on the internet, it, it sounds super fancy and orchestrated and whatnot. But back when these games were new, CD-ROMs had this very distinct sound. And hearing it come out of a TurboGrafx-16 without the CD add-on is just kind of cool. So uh, we're just going to go ahead and... Oops, I didn't mean to go back into the menu. Here we go. Boot it up. Look how fast it shows up. A little bit faster than it does on an original uh, platform. That is so awesome. Uh, so here's uh, here's Jim Power, uh, another game I'm not very good at, but it is a, uh, it's totally a CD-ROM. Jim Power in Mutant Planet. Thank you, Microworld, for presenting this game to us in all of its CD-ROMish glory. I will go. Thank you very much. And here we are, playing a CD-ROM game with no CD-ROM attachment on our Turbo Graphics 16, and I'm dead. So there it is. That's all of the awesomeness that you could possibly want uh, from this grad dude with his super cool hat and his uh, bazooka and ability to die with a single hit. 
The Super SD System 3 from Terra Onion is available now at StoneAgeGamer.com. If you liked what you saw here today, please comment, like, and subscribe, and let us know what your favorite Turbo Graphics games are, or Turbo CD games, or PC Engine games, or whatever you call it from your neck of the woods, we want to hear from you. Thanks for watching, everybody. On behalf of all of us, keep playing games.